Hello and welcome at Thomas Geiger car. Today, finally with the new Defender. Almost four years after the iconic SUV was stopped for production, Land Rover is presenting the long-awaited new car. Due to the market towards the end of the year, beginning next year. If you don't want to wait any longer, join me on my first walk around and I'll tell you more about it. Designing a new Defender is most probably one of the hardest challenges in the automotive industry because it is an icon and same as a Jeep Wrangler or a Mercedes G-Class, there are only a few lines to recognize that vehicle. And Gary McGovern didn't want to do a replica, a retro model. He wanted to get the shape into the new age, nevertheless wanted to stick with the rules and the roots of the car. So, the silhouette is basically the same as we know it, but there is no detail token, taken over from the old car. But there are some styling lines, the white contrast roof, the horizontal lines, the straight back, the clean front, all made on purpose and to get the car the durability and the adventurous look and the capability to go anywhere and everywhere. That's for, the, for that reason, it has extremely short overhangs and a high ground clearance. And as you used to it, it will come in different derivatives. For the start, there will be a 90, which we have here, three door model, about four meter 30 in length, and 110 with five doors, about half a meter longer. But since it is not only a workhorse anymore, it is also a kind of Playmobil for the city, there are tons of accessories and tons of different styling versions. Standard is this satin finished car. We have a glossy car. We have different color options, two-tone models, almost like you know it from Range Rover. And we have about 170 accessories from the start to give this car your individual touch, ranging from beauties to utilities like a box on the side, or a ladder to climb the roof, even a roof tent will be available from the start. Same as with the exterior, the interior tries to get the Defender into a new age. It is still a very versatile, rugged vehicle with nice details like these open, not covered nuts and bolts all around, with lots of storage, with massive handles because this car really can go hard off-road and with a material that could stand all the dust and dirt the car will experience. But on the other hand, it is a modern car now. So we have a digital cluster instrument, we have a functional steering wheel with lots of buttons, we have a touchscreen in the center console, and we have only a few buttons left. These you can reach even in hard off-road courses. Other than that, it is very spacious, more than before, and it is comfortable. Whilst the old Land Rover was a pain to every bone, this car should promise a comfortable ride, even on long distance. Thanks for joining me on that first walk around of the new Land Rover Defender. Finally, the wait is over, and on the first look, it looks really promising. But if it was worth the wait, that's what we're going to figure out when driving that vehicle. In the city, in the urban jungle, and in the wild. Can't wait to do so. Thank you, Shishi, Sai Chen, and... Goodbye.